Okay, this is a video to show folks interested in buying this car. This is the the uh, Thunderbird of my friends. I'm helping him with this. Uh, I'm also his technician, but convertible, as you can see. <laughs> uh, I'm helping him with this because he's having uh, trouble with had a stroke, so he needs to help, have a little help selling it. Um, and he's not trying to get another computer for it because they're hard to find and it doesn't matter that much to him since he can't drive it anymore so he doesn't care and he's selling it. Um, so getting a computer is going to be up to you. And this is the problem the computer's having is these are the pressure control solenoids for the transmission. And you can see this one that's in the green. Don't let the colors fool you. This is just uh, amounts. At idle in park, this is supposed to be, this one in the green should be further over here in the red to reduce the pressure, but it's not. That's being controlled by the computer. The pressure is too high. And it will eventually break the transmission because it's keeping the pressure too high even at idle. Um, when you shift it stays too low and the pressures are too high right now the pressure is sitting at uh, almost 400 psi at idle it shouldn't be doing that it shouldn't be getting near there unless you're wide open throttle and of course as you can see I do not even have my foot on the throttle I have it on the brake um, and I'll show you how the computer is getting confused notice how I went over when it jumped all the way to the red you see how it jumped that's the only time you can ever get it go over there but now when I do this which really doesn't mean anything I'm I'm shifting up when you really don't that see where they were just yellow that's how it should be when if I so if I sit here and go up it'll bring those pressures down that means the circuits that control it are actually working, but the logic is not. When they're all up like that, that's how it should be at idle. So when I sit here and tap this thing, it's faking it out. It's, you know, it's confusing the computer. Those should both be up there almost to the top. When they're both in the red, that's about how it should be. And as you see, as soon as I stop, it stops getting confused. That's way too high pressure right there. Now it goes back to its pretty much normal, wrong, high pressure. See how high those pressures are going? When that went all the way down to the left, when it went all the way down here, that pressure jumped to almost 500 PSI. And that's totally being controlled by the computer. And this is wrong. This should be way up here. This one should be down a little bit. They should be kind of more or less even here. The computer is unable to control that pressure properly anymore. And it is a logic circuit in the computer. See how that went all the way down to green? That went high pressure. The pressure jumped through the roof. So, but when I start doing this, now it starts coming to where it should be. The higher the amperage, the lower the pressure. And when you're sitting here at idle, there, I see about where that was. The two were kind of even red. That's about where it should have been for pressure. But it just gets completely confused when you start doing that, which it also shouldn't do. And that's its normal incorrect pressure. Watch out, drop. See where it dropped way down on the B going into reverse? That's a pressure spike. When this drops all the way down, the center one drops all the way down here, that's a massive pressure spike. It is not supposed to do that. Watch this. Into reverse, massive pressure spike when it comes back up. Not supposed to do that. That's does that going into reverse. Watch as I go. This is park. I'm gonna go into reverse. The center line is gonna drop all the way down to here, which is very high pressure, dangerous, gonna crack the transmission. Bam, see that pressure just went boom back. I took the gauges off. I wish I would have left it and recorded it with the gauges on, but that's what's happening. Super high pressure. So, 
computer is not controlling this car properly and it's a common problem that the computers have it's one of the worst problems they have is they malfunction with the transmission the transmission is not on a feedback loop so it doesn't feed back the pressure the, the computer does not know what the pressure is so it's just supposed to go by these guiding settings that it has and when it malfunctions it can't even tell it's malfunctioning so it has no clue that it's having a problem because it has no pressure sensor to send back to tell it what the pressure actually is so it's a bad design by Ford as far as that goes but if you can get a good computer it'll bring it back and operate it normally like it should so there's the uh, there's the deal with the problem with the car